What is up guys? James here from the Light of Raiga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for Sagittarius Sun Signs. If you were born between the dates of November 22nd and December 21st then this video is for you. I'm going to be doing a how to make forward progress spread today. This spread is going to look at your emotions, your thoughts, and your actions, and we're going to pinpoint what's kind of holding you back and how you can make improvements to make positive change in your life. So this is for Sagittarians, and it's going to be an overall general reading. Uh, you can apply the wisdom and knowledge contained in this spread to any aspect of your life, whether it be career or relationships or spirituality or whatever you want to. But uh, if you want a more personalized reading that's specifically tailored just for you, then head on over to my Etsy shop and we can uh, do a reading just for you. I can tap into your energies. But uh, for now, this is going to be just a general reading. I'm going to be using the Llewellyn Tarot. So give me just one moment to shuffle the cards a little bit and ask the tarot the question, what, no, how can Sagittarians make forward progress in their lives? All right, that's good enough. Let's cut the deck. And this is an eight card spread. All right, there we go. Let me get an overview here. Only one major arcana. Got a lot of cups, a lot of... Oh, we got a good mixture of everything. We got wands, cups, swords, all sorts of things. So let's get right on into it, shall we? This first card here represents where you are now, currently, in your life. And we've got the Eight of Cups. And this card here gives me the feeling, Sagittarians, that a lot of you are in search of something new. Right now, currently, presently, at this time, I see a lot of you moving away from older things and trying to um, make progress forward towards something new, specifically dealing with emotions. Uh, so maybe, you know, those of you who are fed up with your job are emotionally fed up with your job and you're trying to look for something else or some of you are seeking other relationships because you're looking for a new emotion um, or a new place to live because you don't like the feelings of where you live right now. But I'm getting the feeling that change is something that a lot of you are dealing with at this current time and uh, a change of emotions, searching for some other newer emotion. So that's where you're at now, Sagittarius, for the most part, for the, for the overall gist of it. Uh, this card here represents emotions that are sabotaging your progress. We've got the Queen of Cups. Hmm, I'm getting the feeling that a lot of you, your emotions are overly caring. You guys are too sensitive is the, the thing I'm getting from this, that a lot of you are... You know, put a lot of investment into your emotions and into other people and you care maybe a little bit too much and you, you, you feel a little bit too much and, you know, your your heart aches when that isn't reciprocated. So I'm um, getting the feeling that uh, the emotions that are currently sabotaging your progress are the ones that are very um, kind of based on other people does that make sense do you know what i mean like the emotions you have for others uh the the caring emotions are kind of sabotaging you because maybe you're going too far with it and maybe you're even expecting people to um act or behave or feel in a certain way that you expect them to because you're a little bit too emotionally invested in the situation is that does that uh, ring true for any of you this card here represents how to change emotions to make forward progress. We've got the Ten of Wands. Hmm, give me a second to, to go into this card.
Okay, uh, this card is telling me that, uh, Sagittarians, you guys need to uh, release some of your burdens, you know? I think you guys take on a lot of uh, emotions. You guys put it upon yourselves to be strength, uh, the strong one in your emotional relationships. And maybe that's causing you to uh, put so much investment into your emotions, into your loving, caring emotions. So I'm getting the feeling that maybe if you're not so willing to take on things, you know, it's, you don't have the world on your back. It's not all up to you, Sagittarians. You know, let people do their own thing. And, um, you know, they need you, but they don't need you that much. You know what I mean? Be there for them, but don't try to impose on them because you are um, so overbearing and domineering. Does that make sense? So, yeah, I think, uh, you know, release some of that emotional baggage that you have. You don't need to hold so much, right? Okay, this card here represents thoughts that are sabotaging your progress. We've got the Six of Pentacles. Okay, I get the sense that uh, a lot of your thoughts are on money, finances, and, uh, you know, physicality. You know what I mean. Food, clothes, shelter, cars, whatever it is. And um, a lot of you have, your thoughts are on an even exchange. Like, am I, am I getting uh, everything I deserve? Um, am I giving everything that I should be giving? So, um, uh, you know, your thoughts, when they dwell on that, uh, you're not allowing a free flowing of, of things, of abundance. You're, you're kind of restricting it by, by putting a price on things. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? So, like, uh, if, you're, if you're spending so much thought, mental energy on, um, you know, karma working out instead of allowing karma to work itself out, then you're just wasting energy, you're wasting time, and you're blocking the flow of abundance from coming to you. So you need to be open and you need to be willing to give indiscriminately. You, you should be willing to um, take indiscriminately when someone offers things to you. And so your thoughts need to be uh, in alignment with that. Does that make sense? You need to... Um, not worry so much about what you're getting or what you're putting into things. Worry more about just open, being open and free. So this card here represents how you can uh, change these thoughts to make forward progress. We've got the Four of Cups. So in order to change your thoughts uh, in this matter, you're going to have to realize what's important. Um, you know, the Four of Cups is a person who is staring at these three cups and, you know, these cups are empty and is just focused on these three cups, these empty cups, and it's just kind of sadness and woe when there's a cup right out of sight that is full and it's full of love and emotions and prosperity and abundance. But uh, he or she doesn't see that cup because it's so focused on these negative cups. So I think it's important to, you know... Think about your thoughts, think about what you're thinking, and make sure that uh, you're thinking about complete abundance, complete happiness, rather than thinking about lack, rather than thinking about scarcity. Um, I think it's very important to clear up your thoughts a little bit, guys, and make sure that you're thinking positive thoughts as much as humanly possible, rather than doting on the negative aspects of things, rather than worrying, as this card suggests, uh, about getting what, you, what you're what owed or dude. So yeah, that's... Um, that's uh, something to think about, huh? All right, this card here represents actions sabotaging your progress. This is the Empress. All right, give me a second with this card. All right, looks like uh, a lot of Sagittarius, a lot of you are in the quest for abundance right now. You're on the, the mission to, to get more, to acquire stuff, to create for yourself and for others, the other people in your lives. And uh, I think this is something that might be taking you off course a little bit. Uh, of course, abundance is something that we all want, we all crave for, and we all work towards. But, uh, you know, if you're, if you're spending so much energy trying to get it, then... Um, you're not well-rounded you're not balanced and uh it'll come to you the more the less you want it right the less you go after it the less you spend 
thinking about it, uh, the more abundance can come to you because you're not blocking it with all these thoughts that are getting in the way, thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and, and actions that are getting in the way of, of allowing abundance to come to you. You must allow abundance. You don't get abundance. You don't go out and grab it, despite what society will tell you. Society is backwards, okay? Society will tell you that in order to get a lot of money, you got to put in a lot of hours at work. When the heart says, in order to get a lot of money, I have to do what I love. And so there's just two contradicting statements there, and uh, you got to figure out which one is actually true. So uh, I, I see a lot of you putting effort and energy into re acquiring abundance, getting stuff, getting money and food and clothes and shelter and cars and everything like, like that. So uh, maybe uh, we'll see what this card says. <laughs> this card represents how to change actions to make progress. And we've got the Five of Swords. This card is about battling, uh, specifically ego battling, but I think in this case it's telling you that uh, it's not a fight. And then this goes along with what I've say been saying. There's definitely a theme in this spread where uh, stop fighting, right? Just stop. The more you try to get something, the less you allow it to come. Okay? So as far as abundance goes, as far as putting action into the world to get what you want, stop. Uh, Stop with the mentality that you have to beat others in order to get it, that there's scarcity, that there's competition. Um, you need to do away with that sort of mentality because it's not serving you and it's not allowing abundance to come. You know, the, the idea of competition or, or fighting is a very negative thing and it's not in the same vibrational frequency as abundance is. So the more you fight, the less abundance comes into your life. So you're going to have to be in, find yourself in the state of allowing in order to get what you want, uh, Sagittarians. So... You're going to need to calm down a little bit, okay? And as far as your actions, you know, stop competing with other people so much. Uh, this is not a competition. We're all working together to create abundance for everyone. So um, I know it's hard with society and the way it's set up, but, uh, you know, you can do your best to rage against that, and that's what we're here for. All right, here we go. This last card is uh, where you will be after the changes are made that, are, that have been outlined in this reading. And we've got the Six of Swords. Hmm, interesting. I think what this is saying is it's going to be a continuation. Hmm, okay, remember that uh, currently a lot of you are feeling like uh, the need to search out a new emotion. Well, look at this card. It's very similar, and it's uh, it's about searching out new thoughts and new ideas. So I think if you if you make the changes outlined in this spread, I think there's going to be a shift in your thought process, in your ego mind, and it's going to be one of positivity, no doubt, but uh, it's going to put you on a track towards more positive thinking. And I think that's something that uh, needs to happen with you Sagittarians. I think your thought process is a little askew here. And uh, if you do make these changes, I think it's going to change the way you think about things. And the way you think about things is going to affect your reality. Because we're imprinting the world with our own thoughts and emotions and actions and ideas. So uh, changing the thoughts to one of more positivity is going to do nothing but help. Okay, so that is the reading. Let's do an overview and uh, see what we got here, what we learned from this spread. Uh, so currently, I see you guys, Sagittarians, are on a quest for something new. You want some, uh, you want to find uh, emotional stability somewhere else right now. And uh, so you, a, lot, a lot of you might be thinking about changing jobs or homes or relationships or stuff like that. Um, okay, but over here we've got emotions that are sabotaging your progress, and I think a lot of you are caring too much or caring a lot about things that are beyond your control. So I think what you guys need to do is um, kind of pull back a little bit, take some of uh, the burdens off your plate. All right, the world doesn't rest on your shoulders. Don't worry, we'll we'll do fine <laughs> if you pull back a little bit emotionally. Okay, so yeah, and try not to be domineering towards people because you know what's best for them or you think you know what's best for them because uh, it's not helping anyone. As far as your thoughts, uh, I think your thoughts are on. Um, even exchange. I think a lot of you were thinking about, you know, I should be getting what I put in and I should be putting in what I expect to get. But, you know, dwelling on that sort of thing is not going to help you at all. No, 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 not going to help you. So in order to fix that, I think you guys are going to have to find a more positive mentality, find a, find a way to 
to focus your thoughts on the positivity on the things you do have rather than the things you that you are lacking and that'll start to shift your perspective and shift your your reality if you start doing that and then over here we got action sabotaging your progress a lot of you are just going for abundance you're trying to get as much as you can in this life and that's fine if that's what you want but uh, if you want to be a more well-rounded person you're gonna have to stop fighting stop competing and realize that there's abundance for all there's no scarcity in this world that's just a, an illusion that's been created in order to get you to work harder um, but uh, you guys need to work smarter and, and work more from your passions rather than out of necessity and if you make all those changes you're gonna see a shift in the way you think and you're gonna have a new sort of mentality the one that is more focused on positivity on creating abundance and allowing it to come to you rather than going out there and getting it okay so that is the reading for Sagittarius on how to make forward progress for April. If you guys want a reading tailored specifically for you where I tap into your specific energies, then head on over to my Etsy shop. And remember that for the month of April, we got the promo code called FRIENDSINFAM50 that allows you to get 50% off everything in the shop. That's half off if you're not into math, <laughs> okay? And uh, yeah, I hope you guys go check that out and, and take a look around. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you for watching this. Uh, so I uh, hope you got something out of it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the reading. Subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Happy tarotting. Peace.